Donna from Stamps by Me. I hope you're all well. This is demo number two then, and this is going to be Amazing Daisy. Now, this has been super popular. Um, I have actually done demo after demo after demo of this one, and I don't think it's ever, ever gone wrong. So I just wanted to show you a couple of techniques today using the Amazing Daisy and a couple of samples as well. Now, these have been in and out of boxes and have got mucky, so please... Um, please persevere however so this is the amazing daisy so this has been done with your aqua tints the background and the large sentiment from the collection this is the same one this has been embossed in gold onto a smaller card so a smaller one in yellows and oranges uh, this has been 3d'd some of the petals have been cut out and stuck on separately. Another one using aquatinks. And then one not even filling in the background. So I just wanted to show you um, how the Amazing Daisy works. So in your collection, when you get Amazing Daisy, you get the solid portion, as we do in our lamination collections, which is the watercoloured background. You will then get your outline which is what you would do in black or any colour really. In the collection you also get the stamp amazing and you get this in a positive and negative so that's the positive one where it's all filled in for you and then this is the negative one so can you see how I've coloured it in yellow so it matches my image so positive and negative and you also get this extra large sentiment here happy birthday to an amazing person this is super huge um, and I created that because I didn't want it to get lost on an 8x8 card so I'm going to show you how to create the amazing daisy uh, on the other ones I've used aqua tints but today I'm going to just use your basic and halt sinks so the two colours I've just picked out are mustard seed and evergreen okay so the background part then as we did with the butterfly I'm just going to cover it all in one colour first and the key to this is water so you spray it with water and that's how you get your water coloured and background so the more water you add the more it will bleed the more effect you will get so yellow first and then i think we'll just spot a little bit of this green in and around not too much like so so i'm just gonna you can just see that there so i'm just gonna spray that a couple of times to get it to activate and i've done it I've done it four times and it looks like it's bled well so when I put this down you'll see the colour all bleed do you see that so you see that's going to give you the watercolour background don't over think these blobs in here because they dry like a watercolour effect and they do look amazing okay so you've got to give that a second to dry so while that's drying then I will get the happy birthday sentiment the large one which is this one here and I'm just going to pop it on my block and we're going to stamp it in black so I know when I come to put my outline on that my legs of my flower are going to be about here so I need to stamp my image about here normally I would dry this off with a heat tool and do it that way but for the purpose of the demo I'm just going to crack on and put the sentiment straight on while the rest of it is drying so just tilt your image around make it easy for yourself and we'll just maybe pop it here You can see how big it is there. There you go. So the solid portion then, I'm going to ink this one up now. That's nearly dry, I believe. Yeah, it's nearly dry. So we'll ink the solid portion up. And this is going to give you your definition. This is going to complete your image. Make sure I get nice coverage. 
And I'm just going to turn my image around so I can get a good look on where it's going to need to go. Again, if it's not straight, don't worry about it. It's not meant to be perfect. So, think about there is okay. Give it a good press down. There we have it. So that would be matted onto some coloured card and then placed onto a card and you'll get this sort of effect. Okay, and this sort of effect. So the world is your oyster with it really. Have a play, see what you think. Send me some pictures, put some pictures on Facebook. I'd love to see what you're all up to. I will mount that onto a card at some point. Um, so if you like what you see, give me the thumbs up and I'll be back shortly with some more lamination demos. Take care. Bye bye.